Oh, sorry about that. Smoking is bad for you. Anyway, this is TA Tech and your Steam Deck Windows kind of guys. I was looking for some accessories for my Steam Deck. I was looking for Amazon, eBay, you know, the random websites on the internet. But then came to me. The Chinese make the weirdest shit out there. I'm sure they would have the weirdest accessories for the Steam Deck. So I was thinking, let's go to AliExpress and look for accessories for the Steam Deck. And I came across something that I don't know if it's legal or illegal. And it came across something. I don't know if it's legal or illegal. But I said, let's buy it anyway. But then I thought, why would I pay anything if I'm an influencer? Well, sort of an influencer with 68,000 subscribers. So I decided to contact them and I said, okay, I'm going to do uh, a review for your product if you send it to me. This is no way a promotion because I'm just going to say the truth about this product. I was looking through AliExpress and you can see here, this is the listing I was looking at. It's an SD card that's supposed to have 500 plus games on it come ready for the Steam Deck. So I was like, okay, this is probably... A this SD card that comes, you know, loaded with emulators and stuff like that. You plug into your Windows or uh, Steam, OS, Steam Deck and then you start playing. I was wrong. It's something different. This bad boy impressed me so much, I had to make a dedicated video for it. Before I was going to make just a short, but now I'm going to make a whole video just to explain to you how this works and how impressive it is. So without further ado, let's get started. So here's my Steam Deck. It's ready and loaded with WinDeck. If you're interested in installing WinDeck, I left a guide for it in the description below. But this video is not about WinDeck. It's about this SD card. So let's talk about how it works. So first, let's install it to our Steam Deck and see what kind of files it has and what kind of folders it has and how does it work. So uh, I'm going to put it in my Steam Deck here. And it's just a normal SD card and it's going to show in my Windows here. So um, let's, let's look at it and see what's inside there before we show how it works. So our SD card is now inserted to our Steam Deck. So let's look at the files first just to see if there's anything suspicious in there. Um, so uh, here it is it should be here on uh, my PC let's just go to the PC here so as you can see here the SD card is a 500 gigabyte SD card uh, but what's in there um, uh, let's give it a little scan just to make sure that there is nothing wrong with it uh, so scan with Microsoft Defender just to make sure there's no uh, malware in it or anything you know suspicious One hour later. so Windows Defender has finally scanned this and as you can see here there are no viruses and this is good enough for me I'm uh, very curious if the Chinese are gonna have me this time but um let's move forward so they made this into a bootable drive so the way you go to it is you need to put your steam deck into uh the boot menus so, uh, here is the boot menu for us and then we need to go to the drive that we need to install. so this is the uh, sd card that we just put in you need to turn it on and then you wait for it to turn on so our Steam Deck has booted up to uh, this emulator, as you can see here. Um, it's It has uh, plenty of games and uh, emulators to try. So let's give it a try, see how it does. What kind of games there are and how we can add new games to this emulator. Uh, I mean, this SD card because it has a million emulators. But let's give it a go and see how it does. So here is our system running. And as you can see here, there are plenty of emulators. And uh, let's see how many games there are first. Let's go to all games and it's going to count the games here for us. So as you can see here. 5,000 games. This is unbelievable. This is so many games that you can play, but I, I would say most of them are like small games from old emulators, but there are some interesting emulators here, so let's uh, go through them. For example, let's uh, look at interesting ones. Uh, so you have the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is an old uh, system from Nintendo. You have the Game Boy here. Uh, you have your Nintendo 64, GameCube. You have your Wii and... Uh, there are other emulators that are very interesting. You have the Sega system, Sega Genesis, and then of course you have your PlayStations. This is your PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation uh, Portable, and the PlayStation 3. And there are so many others here, uh, even the some Apple emulators here. So this is the Apple uh, 2, it has 400 games. They're all very old games, but you can also uh, play them and enjoy some nostalgia. So how this works is also you have your menu here. So if you turn on, it, it, as you can see here, it's based on Kodi Media Center. So if you click on that, you're gonna go to the Kodi Media Center if you like to install other stuff there. So you have your game settings as well. You can update the game list uh, here. Uh, you just connect it to your Wi-Fi. You can update the game settings. You can change a lot of stuff to get the aspect ratio, the, the, the shaders and how the game works and the, how you can save games and, and everything. So this is very handy and uh, easy to use, I would say. Um, you, can, you have the control settings here so you can map the controllers uh, to uh, however you like or you can connect an Xbox controller or a, a, any other controller and you have uh, here player one player two so you can also enjoy with your friends if you uh, connect it to an external display 
uh, there are other settings here. I'm not going to show them really because uh, this is for you to try. It's just a, a standard Kodi system that has uh, emulators installed on it. Uh, so as you can see here, when you press this button, it will tell you how much battery you have and what time it is. And if you press this button, it will take you to the Linux system that is running uh, behind here. So you just uh, close it and you go back to the emulators. I'm very interested in the PlayStation emulators. So let's give one a try. I would say let's try the hardest one for the system. So this would be the PlayStation three here unfortunately there's only three playstation games but you can add games if you want it's not very hard i'm going to show you that after let's just try one game see how it does uh, a high graphics game so we see how the steam deck performs and then we can go to adding games to this um system All right, as you can see here, we have Devil May Cry running. This is uh, fantastic, actually, because I'm very impressed at how they installed this on a separate system. You can boot into your emulators and enjoy gaming. Uh, it's quite an impressive thing to do, to be honest. And uh, I'm very impressed with this uh, SD card that I bought on a whim. I thought it was not going to be good, and it really, really impressed me. Uh, the games run really good. I've tried other games and other emulators. They all seem to run buttery smooth. I can't show the FPS at the moment. I don't know how to... Uh, uh, but they look like they are running at 60 frames per second for the PlayStation 3. So I would assume PlayStation 2 and the other emulators would run at the same level or even better. So uh, this is the emulator running now. So let's look at other stuff. There is one issue I uh, encountered here, which you can't really exit the game after you've done so. Uh, for example, here, I can't really go back to the menu uh, of the emulator. So I have to turn it off and turn it on. Um, you can you can't even go to the Linux system that I went to before. So if I click this, nothing happens. I hope they uh, fix this because, to be honest, I have no idea how to get to the menu. I tried uh, every button combination and it doesn't work. So I'm kind of stuck here every time I turn on a game and I can't go uh, back to the main menu. So if you turn this off here and you wait for it um, to turn off, uh, turn it back on and it should be running uh, back where you left it off. So. Uh, you can't see it, but it, it did minimize uh, the window. It's running in Windows window mode now. So uh, you can try to touch and close it here. But as you can see here, yeah, it did work for me. I went back to the emulator. So sometimes you can get out of the game, but there is no a clear path on how to exit those games. So this is uh, quite frustrating sometimes. But as you can see here, I closed it and uh, put it back on and it, it allowed me to get out of the game. So let's talk about how you add games to these emulators. You can't do it from here. You have to do it either on the SD card on your PC or you can do it on your Steam Deck. Uh, so let's uh, talk about how you do this. You need to turn off first. Let's turn off our Steam Deck. So uh, shut down the system uh, here, uh, shut down system. And then we're gonna go back to our Windows and explain how we can add games. So the way you go back to Windows is uh, the same way. You need to go back to the boot manager, just like we did before. And then you go back to your Windows or Steam OS. If you're on Steam OS, that's fine as well. Let's talk about how you add games to this. So uh, you find your SD card. It will be in uh, my PC, like we said before. Uh, here you go to the 500 gigabytes one, that partition. And then you need to go into uh, ROMs. So find the ROM that you want to add a game to. Let's say, let's find the PlayStation ones. Uh, here is our PlayStation 3 one. So let's go here and then you will find something that is called info as you can see here we have uh, our games here as you can see devil may cry or um, Rayman here origin and they are .ps3 so what you do is you look at the info here is going to explain to you how to install a game so what you need to do is basically install an ISO you need to extract it and then put it in a folder and name it .ps3 at the end it will show up in your emulator that's all you need to do uh, this is the same for other uh, ROMs as well so if you go to PS2 uh, here you'll have uh, your ROMs added with this one, it's not very hard. You just download the ROMs for the PS2 and just put them there. So it's different for each one, but uh, each one has a guide or it's pretty obvious if it doesn't have a guide. So, and I also would like to say that they were nice enough to send me something else. This is the hard drive that they sent me as a gift with the SD card and it's still terabytes hard drive and it's really a good size for the Steam Deck if you have anything to mount it. I did here it fits really nicely if you have any mount to hold it. And it's two terabytes. I added a lot of games into this. Uh, the only one weird thing is about it is 
is the hybrid uh, kind of micro USB as you can see here it's a kind of a weird connector and then you have USB A here so the way you add it is going to be to the Steam Deck you will need a converter to add it so this is the hard drive it's pretty good it's pretty fast if you want the link for it, I'll it in the description below but most importantly this SD card is amazing the emulators are amazing you just need to add more games if you don't have enough games there for the PS3 for example there are three games or the uh, PS2 there is like 15 games so you just need to add your own games if you like to or delete the games that you don't like this is the SD card it's quite amazing I like how it's like it's a different system they can play and emulate your games and then you go back to your own system and enjoy your gaming so the link for this is in the description below so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the channel subscribe and peace